Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about on-object interaction. So if you've recently turned on on-object interaction from your preview features, you may have noticed that it's kind of switched things up. In fact, it's even moved your visualizations pane altogether. So where did it go? How do I get it back? What do we do about this? Stay tuned to find out more. All right, so my name is Angelica Dominich and I'm a trainer here at Pragmatic Works. So if you've recently gone into your preview features and turned on on-object interaction, you may have noticed that it looks a little bit different here now in the Power BI desktop. We no longer see our visualizations pane over here on the right-hand side, and now we have this visual gallery up here at the top. But where did our build a visual pane go? How do we get it back? And what do we do about this? So I'm going to show you exactly where you can go to find that visual pane and bring it back and how to have it there now every time you open a new Power BI report. And in doing this, I'm also going to show how to set up bookmarks here on a report page with this new feature turned on. So let's go ahead and get to it. So here on this report page, I currently have just a couple of visuals using that Adventure Words data set showing us sales amount by country and sales amount by calendar year. Right now, you may notice that the only pane I can see is my data pane and that's it. So what happened to my visualization pane and how do we get it back? There is a way to get it back. And one of those ways is to go to the view tab at the top and then you will see that there is now a selection of panes here that we can turn on as we have had the ability to in the past. But now what we have is access to what is called the pane switcher. So the pane switcher is going to allow you to choose which panes are open and what's available to you. Let's take a look at what we have here because I like what they've done in this most recent update. Let's go ahead and select always show pane switcher. Now you're going to notice that in doing that now over here on the right hand side, we now have a little icon that's appearing here. We'll come back to this here in just a moment. Now in order to get that build a visual, that visualization pane back that we know and we're used to, that's what we see right here. It's currently grayed out. What we can do is we can select move build a visual to our visualizations pane. Now the other way that we could have grabbed access to that is by selecting a visual and then we'll see here on the right hand side of the visual we have the ability to hit this icon here to add or remove visual elements. So this is going to allow us to modify certain things here on the visual itself like data labels, the X and the Y axis, the title, but let's come back to that. So we've now added the build a visual pane back into our pane switcher over here on the right. But let's go ahead and select this plus sign here now. Now that we've enabled the pane switcher, we have the ability here to choose which panes we would like to be available every time we open a new Power BI report. Now this was just updated with the July 2023 update and so this is something I am super grateful for so now we don't have to go up here into the view tab every time and enable these different panes. What we can do here now is when we hit that plus sign, we have the ability to go in here and choose which panes we want to have available every time we open a new Power BI report and begin designing and building out our reports. So the three that you'll probably want to enable and have on for your Power BI report building every time you launch Power BI, those are gonna be your data pane, your format pane, and of course that build a visual pane. So you can go ahead and toggle those three on and have those now ready and able to be clicked into just by clicking these buttons. For this demonstration though, I also would like to show how to uh, add bookmarks here now in this report. And so I'll show how to do that here. So let's go ahead and also enable the bookmarks pane. All right, now I'm gonna go over to my data pane and take a look at this. So what does this experience look like? Can I only have one pane open here at a time? No, in fact, we can open multiple panes at once. So if we wanna have more than one pane open at once, all we have to do is go in here and we can right click into one of these panes and select open in new pane. So we can easily go in here, 
open up these other panes that we want to have and we can choose if we want to have four of these open here at once we can surely do that so what we want to do here now is let's go ahead and explore how to add in bookmarks for this report page now that we've gone through and looked at how to toggle on these different panes now i don't need the build a visual for this current demonstration rather that we're going to build out for our bookmarks so i want to collapse my build a visual pane i don't want to hit the x because if i hit the x it's going to remove it here and now i'd have to add it back in which is not too difficult to do but if we want to open up multiple panes here and have more than one open at a time again we right click and open up those panes but if we want to collapse a visual, not remove it from our pane switcher, what we can do is hit this drop down here and select to close. We can select to collapse um, and we can select to move this back to a visual. So if I select move to visual, it's going to move it back now to where we can interact with this and engage with this directly on the visual itself. So now the access to building the visual is out here on the visual itself. And so we can access this from the visual that we have selected. So this is an option for you. You can choose to have this build a visual right here directly on object. I think that was one of the elements that Power BI, the Microsoft Power BI team uh, thought of and thought this would be super handy and useful for some. And, you know, as a avid right clicker, I think it is a good feature to have. And I think it all comes down to a matter of preference. So if you don't like it there, that's OK. You don't have to access it there. You can select to have it moved back to your pane switcher. So all is not over. We can easily go ahead and modify and choose which panes we want to have access to and where we want to access them. So let's go ahead here now and let's take a look at creating some bookmarks for this report. So currently we're looking at bookmarks here on this sales report for our AdventureWorks data set. We have sales amount by country and sales amount by calendar year. So what we can do is we can go in here and let's say that instead of just viewing all of these countries at once, Let's say I wanted to set up certain views of this report so that my users could view by certain regions. Let's say I wanted to set up a, a bookmark for the uh, different continents. So North America, Europe, and then Australia. So we can go in here and easily now select those specific countries to create these bookmarks. So let's begin, I'll start with North America. So we'll select US and Canada. So I've got my filters in place on this page. Now I'm ready to add my bookmark. So add the bookmark in, and then let's go ahead and rename that so we know what bookmark this is. Rename this to North America. Now we'll clear the filters and we'll go in and create our next bookmark. So I'm gonna go ahead and select France, Germany, and the UK. And I'm going to add my second bookmark in here. I'll go ahead and rename this as well and call this the Europe bookmark for our Europe region. I'll go ahead and clear that filter and then I'll go in and add in the final country here that we have. I will select Australia from my filters pane and then go ahead and select add bookmark. Now I'll go ahead and rename this bookmark here. And so now we have these bookmark views set up and we could click in through these different bookmarks. So we could also go in here and we can add in an additional bookmark that will be like a clear all. So we could add that in here and maybe we wanna call it all countries. So we can leave all of the countries here, don't filter down to any countries, select add, and then we can rename this here to all countries. That's one way that we can set this up. Of course, there are multiple ways to kind of go about setting up these bookmarks here. So let's go ahead here now and let's take a look at creating now these bookmarks as buttons. So what we can do now that we've set up our bookmarks, we can go up to the insert tab and go into our buttons menu. Down here at the bottom, you're gonna find the navigator and here we can now select the bookmark navigator. 
Now you're going to see we have four different bookmarks and they are set up according to, or four different buttons set up to our four different bookmarks that we set up. Now, what if I wanted to have these set up vertically over here on the left hand side of my screen, I would need to then access that format pane. So what we can do is I can go over here now and I can open the format pane here in the pane switcher. So you can click if you only want to have one open at once, but you can also right click to have multiple panes open here as well. So what we want to do here now is we want to go in and format this. And so let's go ahead and search for orientation in our grid layout and change this to vertical. Then let's go in here, let's resize these buttons and we can make these as big or as small, take up as much space on our report page as we would like to. And then we could go in and modify some additional settings here. Maybe we want to uh, change the shape from a rectangle to be more of a rounded rectangle like the other elements in our report. We can also go in here and modify the text here. We can change this as well and change the style of this as we would like, again, to kind of match what we have going on here in the report. So very quickly, we can go in here and modify the settings for our uh, bookmark buttons using that bookmark navigator. You can also go in and modify the different states here. So this is currently the default state, but what if I wanted to change the state of the settings of the hover state. So when we hover, you can see that it is going to shade it here in this light gray. But what if we wanted to you know, go in and modify that? And what if instead when we hovered, we wanted the text instead to change color here? And we could go in and maybe change it to the color of the bars that we have there, or the columns rather, excuse me, on our column chart. So we could go in and update this for these different states if we would like to. Now that we have those set up, we can easily click between these different buttons, holding down the control key here in the desktop to view these different regions that we have set up here based on our filter settings in this report. So hopefully this helps explain the pane switcher a bit more. Um, if you are just opening the preview feature on object interaction and enabling that in your reports for the first time. Now on object is still in preview, but we know that it is coming to general availability uh, very soon. So when it does hit general availability after watching this video, hopefully you have a better understanding of what you can expect with on object interaction, creating bookmark views and using and navigating that pane switcher. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have not already, hit that like and subscribe button below so that you can stay up to date with all of us here at Pragmatic Works. If you're looking for more content for us than what you find here on our YouTube channel, be sure to check out the link in the description below to gain access to our on-demand learning platform. We are constantly adding new courses to this and updating this with new courses on Power BI, but also the other tools in the Power Platform, Azure, and more. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.